hey guys welcome back to the channel guys i just had a little intermission a little break i did a little a little dance y'all know what let me tell you something i think well i have to figure it out because i know is it youtube and google are the same i think youtube and google are the same and then instagram and tiktok i don't think they're the same but Instagram and TikTok, they share with one another, right? YouTube is its own beast. It's its own engine. YouTube is selfish. So YouTube is like, I'm not sharing shit, right? It's like, if you do it, because normally if I do a video on Instagram, I can download it and I can share it on any other platform, right? I can even upload it to YouTube. But if you make a short on YouTube, you're not downloading it to it, uh TikTok at all. They'll let you get it over on Instagram, but you're not going on the TikTok. It's like YouTube is like, no, no, no. They said we are a master at this. We do like we we've been doing this for a minute now. Like catch up. And you know YouTube is Google. So they're like, come on. They're not that I don't know what it is. But it's like because sometimes you just want to share the same video on all platforms instead of having to redo it. So that's a lot of work. Be dancing like that. Lose your breath. I'm trying to catch my breath. But I also had a glass of wine. Well, I'm still sipping on wine. Anyway, guys, is anybody out there loving on you? Is the bay messages anybody loving you? Sometimes people can love you guys and still have effed up energy. Let's see what's going on. If it's your person, they really don't talk about it. Let's see. I need you. I need you. Have you ever heard anyone say that to you? That's huge. And when you do hear them say that to you, where were y'all at? What were y'all talking about? What was the moment, right? Have you ever had anybody say that to you? Like, I need you. Those are big words. All those are small words. They're big words, right? So somebody needs you. Mm, I can't see life without you by my side. So somebody needs you. Mm-hmm. Somebody needs you, but how did we get here, right? How did you get here with this person? So they need you now, baby. I need you. They can't see life without you. Holy Spirit, Holy Collective, what's going on? Mm. <clears throat> I would like to try again. They say, can we try again? And we try again. My feelings for you have always been real. So this person needs you. They know they messed up somewhere along the way. Like you know what it was, right? But their feelings for you have always been real. And I never stopped thinking about us ever. Woo, honey cow, boom. Because y'all know this one here is filled with secrets. So somebody in love with you. They need you. So do they need you or do they love you? There's a difference. There is a difference. Holy oh, Spirit. What's going on with this person? They need you. Something's going on with them. They're like, I need you now. I need you now. Don't see life without you guys. This person is not happy, guys. The sun is not shining in their life. Like what, what was once up is now down. They're frustrated. They could be dealing with other people, fighting with other people, talking to up, dealing with other people. Like this could involve a lot of other people. Your person could be fighting. They're in harmony. They're keeping to themselves. Thinking, praying, hoping, wishing, trying to figure things out, trying to put two and two together. They're in harmony. They're just, they're in isolation. Like they're not happy. But they're frustrated. They're holding their feelings back. They're holding their money back. They're saving their money. It's like, whatever this person is into right now, they're frustrated and not being happy. And they're pulling their feelings back. And that's where your energy comes in at. That's why they need you.
I think this person, it was left out in the cold by this Queen of Swords in reverse. Somebody just jealous, mean, manipulative, nasty. She's just stank on stank, right? She's just stank on stank when she's in reverse. She's a smart person in that life, but in reverse, she's still smart. She's just, she's, she's just, a, you know. But while they're in hermit, they're frustrated with this queen, but while they're in hermit, they're thinking about you, this warm and loving person. You're coming in as the king and the queen of cups. Very loving, very caring, very giving, all of those things. Like you'll let somebody else wear your crown, but you, this person, you have a lot of them. You can't trust them any further than you can see them. It's like they're still coming in on some mess, right? They need you. Can't see life without you, but they're still not coming in with the grounded energy. They're still coming in on some mess, right? So the connection that they're currently in, they're not happy there. They don't want what you're doing. They don't even want to eat the food because they may think it's bad. So they're not drinking the food. They're not doing anything. And this queen here is jealous. She's jealous. She's mad. Because this person, maybe she knows about this person wanting to offer this love to you. But whatever happened between you and this person, it, it's over. Because when they had a chance to offer you this love, they didn't. When they had a chance to be with you, they came in as the Knight of, Knight of Pentacles, BSing. Knight of Cups, not offering you any love, possibly thinking that you was always going to be there always this loving person you know this and that they can just think you just oh this person's just so loving yeah that's after the fact but loving people loving people have an other side too loving people have another they have a flip side they do they're the twist quick quick it they see you as their ten of cups now and they don't regret feeling this way like now they want this ten of cups they don't regret it, but the person that they're with, this King of Wands in reverse, they said, the hell you will. <laughs> the hell you will. The hell you will. So your person got a person. They do. The love is in reverse. So they're trying to leave this person. They don't have any regrets, but that karmic, whoever they're dealing with, uh, she's not walking away quietly, or they're not walking away quietly. But that wasn't their wish fulfillment. They probably thought it was their ten of cups, but it wasn't. They couldn't really even invest in this person. Like, it didn't grow. There was no growth. It was like the Seven of Pentacles. They're not reaping any rewards from this connection. They're just there, fighting, frustrated, upset, angry. They're just mad. Why are you not happy, sir, ma'am? Right? Why, why is this person not happy? Oh, Spirit, clarify the Seven of Wands. Because they're frustrated. Yeah, this person is in their thoughts. It's a man. This man is in his thoughts. They're frustrated. They're not happy. Holy Spirit, clarify this Queen of Swords in reverse. <laughs> they thought this Queen of Swords was big luck. They thought this was big luck, big money, big luck, big money. That's, that's what they thought. That's what they thought. Mm. So they're getting with people for all the wrong reasons. Holy Spirit, clarify this Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Because this person is unreliable. It could be a man in uniform. And now they're in grief and sorrow. Could be drinking and everything. And they're drinking more than wine. Because they have a bottle that's in a paper. That means it's a hidden liquor, right? It's not just juices and berries. <laughs> Holy Spirit, Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, they're in grief and sorrow. Knight of Cups in reverse. This person's married. That's why they couldn't offer you anything. That's why they was unreliable. That's why they couldn't give to you. That's why they couldn't fold. That's why nothing, right? You're a good lady. So they couldn't offer you anything, good lady, because they was married. They was married. Probably still is. Now they're unhappy and butthurt in this connection. Clarify this four of cups. Yeah, sad news. It's sad news for this lady because this lady keeps trying to offer them this cup and they're like, I don't want your cup. I don't want your cup. So now they're constantly thinking about you. The Holy Spirit. Clarify this Queen of Cups. Mm -hmm.
Queen of Cups. This is a rich man that's coming after you. So it's a rich man that's thinking about you. They're rich, but they're unreliable. Didn't I tell you sometimes money don't make a person? Money makes you nasty, right? Especially if you're not grounded. And especially if you don't know how to behave. Rich, rich does nothing. But it, it uh, to me, a rich person, this per, this rich man sees this Queen of Cups in high honors. That's it. So this person's rich. However, rich does not make this a good man, right? Rich... Everybody's not bad and everybody's not good. Like, you can meet a rich person, wealthy person, whatever, and they treat you well. They still love you. They don't have 9, 10, 15 different women. And then there are other people, not all, there are other men who are rich, and they feel because I'm rich, I can have all these different women and all these different relationships, and you psst, not supposed to say anything about it because I'm rich. And because I give you this and I buy you those bags and I buy you these cars and this and that and this and I give to you and you have everything. No, that doesn't mean you get to cheat. The only time that works is if the lady is just trying to come up off of what you have or they like the lifestyle. Now, some 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 women will fall in love with the lifestyle thinking, well, he's rich. I don't care if he cheats. Well, he's rich. I don't care if he cheats. That's not love. You in it for the money, just like they in it for whatever they can get from you. And they'll turn you out just as fast and be done with you. You know what I mean? So just because you're rich doesn't mean you're better. Rich don't mean shit if you don't have morals, right? Period. And there's a lot of rich people out here. Guys, I ain't got to point the finger, but y'all know. There's a lot of rich people out here that do not have morals. They have 10 and 15 different women. Their wives know about it. They don't say nothing because guess what? He's rich. I be damned. So this rich person needs you. Isn't that something? A rich person needs you. Isn't that something? I be damned. <laughs> they need you. Rich don't make them great. Good luck with that, guys. Don't let them buy you. Don't let them buy you. Thanks for watching, guys. And if they do buy you, make sure you get jewelry and bags. It's not the clothes, it's jewelry and bags in your name. And I'm not talking about any little bitty bag, right? I'm talking about the real high-end $35,000 bag, like a, like, like a Burke, like a, you know, like the Burberry's, the Louis Vuitton's. And I'm not talking about the little wallets and the little pockets and the little woo, -woo bags. No, I'm talking about... Just unlimited, like just okay. But jewelry bags, guys, jewelry bags. And the reason why I say that is because if the man leaves you, you can take all of those bags. You probably got like a hundred thousand, hundred fifty thousand dollars in bags. Jewelry is unlimited. You can get a seventy five hundred dollar necklace from Tiffany. You can get this. You can get that. So guys, if you're gonna be with this type of person, make sure you get something out of it. Jewelry bags, bump the clothes, jewelry bags, stuff that you can resell. Because let's not forget, guys, this is their money. And even if you marry them, it's still their money. Because knowing this person, they're going to get a prenup. Which means whatever's in the prenup, if they say you leave with what he, you leave with what he came here with, you get to nothing. But if you put in there all these gifts are yours and this and that, you got to make sure that it's written up correctly. Guys, don't fall for the okie doke. So isn't that funny? The rich man needs you. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out, Shakira.